Hello guys, mambo ni vipi? It has been a while since we met here kwenye Red Cup and nitakuwa nafasi kukukaribisha to watch your favorite show, the Red Cup show on Adventure 24/7 TV. We are on Instagram, our Facebook pamoja na Twitter as Adventure 24/7 TV like in YouTube. Uh, tupo kama Adventure 24/7 Media. So you can just go there, uka subscribe, afu katisha kinoma noma. And today on your favorite show, uh, first of all, mwenye tumeka kimo for a while. And today we got hot tasty stories including Cardi tries is back again, guys. It's amazing. So tukuja kuongea hii last tasty episode. Ah, ya Cardi tries ilikuwa all about what? And another thing, it's all about star fashion week, guys. It was amazing. So tunaenda kupata an overview about that star fashion week show ya 2021. So, tuende tukalipe bill then we'll be right back. Ladies, hello. Ah, bana kuna great news sana kwa upande wa wadada lakini pia ni challenging news kwa sababu ah uh, right now mwenzetu kashakuwa billionaire. What about me and you? Tunaenda kufanya nini na sisi kuwa ma billionaire ama next billionaires? Anyway, story ni kwamba ah uh, mwanadada Rihanna ambaye ni mwanamuziki na mfanyabiashara ambaye kwa sasa ana miaka 33 unaambiwa ni bilionea rasmi sasa hivi na yeye ni bilionea ama ameingia kwenye orodha ya mabilionea uh, jarida la Forbes limekadiria utajiri wa bad girl Riri kufikia US dollar 1.7 billion ambayo kwa kibongo bongo ama kitanzania Tanzania ni zaidi ya trillion 3.9 na hii imemfanya kuwa msanii wa kike uh, wa I mean msanii wa, 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 wa kwanza wa kike tajiri zaidi duniani lakini pia uh, ni tajiri wa pili wa kike baada ya Oprah kwa upande wa waburudishaji na una, unaambiwa utajiri wa Rihanna umetokana I mean umetoka nje ya muziki na Forbes wana wanataja wana pesa nyingi zimetoka kwenye bidhaa zake za urembo uh, kupitia kampuni yake ya Fenty Beauty kampuni ambayo anamiliki uh, hisa kwa asilimia msineni nusu ya hisa anamiliki uh, lakini pia kampuni yake ya mavazi ya kike Savage X Fenty uh, ndo huko ambako pesa nyingi zaidi zinatoka za kumfanya awe tajiri na sio kwenye music na unaambiwa mwaka 2020 Rihanna aliweka nadhiri kwamba ana ndoto za kuwa bilionea kupitia urembo and finally it's true ni bilionea sasa hivi uh, na kupitia urembo huko huko ndo ameupata bilionea na sio kwenye music so akili kumkicho kwa wale uh, wafanyabiashara I mean, wafanya ya muziki kwamba on so kama muziki tu ndio unaweza kukufanya ukawa billionaire but you can use that name that you have by the icon I'm a brand ambayo umetengeneza kutoka kwenye muziki uh, kutengeneza hela through businesses na issue nyingine nyingine tofauti na muziki so Rihanna is now a billionaire lakini sio billionaire kutokana na muziki tu ni kutokana na biashara ama kampuni zake za urembo so that's all about know your celeb for today fashion kicks for today uh, last week kulikuwa na star fashion week ambayo ilifanyika tarehe 30 na tarehe 31 na, na theme ya star fashion week for this year ilikuwa ni uhuru uhuru means what uhuru kwenye mavazi showing um, um, uh, uhuru kwenye kila kitu kwa biashara kwa mavazi yes. everything uh, showing what i mean showing your fashion dna uh, ukiwa huru zaidi lakini kikubwa usiku kwenye 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 star so i had an interview with one of those designers walisema tell me where you came from without telling me where you came from so you're just using mavazi to present your 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 your, your, your identity kuonesha umetokea wapi lakini kwa kuonesha creativity na ule uwezo ambao uko nao wa, 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 wa kubuni mavazi as a bunifu so that was about uh, star fashion week watu wengi sana walitisha guys by the way uh, nafikiri kama hujaona videos kuhusiana na this I mean that tamasha la tarehe uh, tare 30 na tarehe 31 you have to go on um Adventure for 7 media pale YouTube afu kaziangalia kwa sababu zimewekwa kwa episodes yani utapata nafasi ya kuangalia kila mwanamitindo alipofikisha uh, watu wake ama models wake so 
uh, zilitolewa pia tuzo wengi walishinda moja kati ya watu ambao walitisha sana kwenye lile kongamano ilikuwa ni pichichi hawa uh, watu walikuwa na mambo ya batiki batiki i mean using batiki um ku design nguo mbalimbali so leona ma, 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 ma koti ya lotengenezwa na batiki magauni ma jumpsuit for everything and it was amazing experience so ngera kwa star fashion week it's a great thing uh, kufanya makongamano kama haya matamasha kama haya uh, kuwapa uh, designers chance especially star wana focus sana na wale designers wadogo wadogo ma upcoming ambao wana wana wanajitahidi kutafuta nafasi uh, kuonesha what they got so big up sana kwa star fashion week Ni habari kubwa njema kwa leo ni kumuhusu Bill Nas uh, Bill Nenga huyu. Uh, Bill Nas amefunguka kwamba anakuja na kampuni yake ambayo inaitwa Mafioso Inc. Nafikiri tumeona baadhi ya ya, ya clip clip zikionesha ile logo ya 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 ya, ya, ya record label yake hiyo ambayo inaitwa Mafioso Inc. ambayo itabeba kampuni uh, zingine dogo dogo ndani yake ikiwemo record label uh, za kampuni zingine ambazo atazitambulisha rasmi lakini not now ila anapanga kuja kutambulisha. Na Bill Nas amesema kwa kwamba uh, ni kampuni ambayo ndani yake kutakuwa na label za muziki uh, i mean label ya muziki pamoja na kampuni zingine ndogo ndogo ndani yake na vitu vingine vya burudani anasema lengo la label hii ni kuendelea kufanya biashara ya muziki kwa sababu ndio biashara ninayoifahamu ili kushika mkono wengine kama ambavyo mimi nilishikwa mkono na anasema wapo wasanii walionichagua walio mimi uh, na, 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 na na wapo pia wasanii aliyowachagua so kama ambavyo kulikuwa na wasanii waliomchagua yeye kum, kumchukua uh, basi na yeye kuna wasanii wake ambao uh, ata, amewachagua na atawachukua so that's all about i mean bill nas na mpango wa kuja na brand a brand yake ama record label yake ambayo inaitwa Mafioso Inc and e brand it kwa all about burudani all about game ya muziki all about business ya music kwenye i mean kuingizia i mean kuingiza mpango mzima ama mpango mzima wa kuingiza kipato wa mapesa cuz anasema yeye biashara ya muziki ndio biashara ambayo ijiwa vizuri so it's time for yeye to give back to the society na kuchukua wale watu wengine ambao wanajipaji na kujaribu kuwaonesha watu kwamba huyu anaweza huyu anaweza so that's all about uh, Bill Nas Okay guys, I told you kwamba Kari tries is back kama ulikuwa ujui. Kari tries ni series ya 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 inaziza episodes ama episodes mbalimbali ambazo mbali, zinaonesha um Kari B akijaribu kufanya vitu mbalimbali. Mbali. Ameshajaribu vitu vingi vingi sana. I think ilikuwa ni episode kama ya 11 sasa hivi 12. Akionesha kuna nyingine alijaribu kuwa a nursery a nursery school teacher. I mean alishajaribu kuwa a uh, kutengeneza mawigi ama kuyashona, ashajaribu ku kufanya kama kufuga ile nini kwenye rank zile so amekuwa um, akifanya series of events ama kumuonesha akijaribu kufanya vitu mbalimbali mbali. and this time guess what alichokijaribu kwenye card tries wanaita rhythmic gymnastics uh, na hii ni michezo mbalimbali ambayo mbali ina include wa, watu ambao wanacheza kwenye flow uh, ku play na zile club ribbons zile kucheza na zile ring zile nini kujizungusha zungusha by the way ku play na ball kuna vitu nini wanavishika wana vi. Yaani it's all about uh, a certain sport um, mchezo fulani hivi ambao una include kucheza na hivyo vitu vingi including ball, ribbon, zile ring. Yaani it's all about I mean wanacheza kwenye flow but using those things. So Karibu amejaribu na kiona kuja uzito wake. By the way alipendeza alivyovaa kale kanguo uh, na amefanya vizuri zori ya uzito and she's expecting a baby boy na mume wake offset akiwa kama ni a second child kwake so that's all about card tries for this time I'm to subiri kwanza tuone next atajaribu nini kwa sababu ni mwanadada wa shughuli na by the way anapenda kujaribu vitu vingi so this card tries unaweza okay check through facebook messenger ama instagram huko ndo sehemu ambayo 
unaweza ukapata kuicheck vizuri lakini pia huwa na post kwenye page yake ya Facebook kule ndo huwa na post lakini Instagram huwa anaweka tu zile hints alivyokuwa anajaribu kidogo kidogo lakini kuicheck vizuri unaweza ka view through her page kwenye Facebook Okay guys, this is the end of our favorite show for today. So till next weekend. I promise I'll be here sito Hamton and Missy tell like you girls be together for a long you know. So you can check us on Instagram, Facebook, or on Twitter. We are at Adventure 247 TV. Uh lakini YouTube to become Adventure 247 Media so you can just go there or subscribe then you comment check no no ma. And my name is Chika. I'm on Instagram as chika_cheat. So till next time I'm out.